morning friends today i am in berlin and i am in the campus of eurasia my name is amrit pat and i am on the tour of germany i will be taking you to the different universities different language school and different institutes where you can learn your, where you can learn your german language where you can do your masters you can do your student colleagues and your bachelor's degree so i am here with mr steve uh, stephen he is an international placement officer here in eurasia institute he will be taking us around the campus of eurasia so mr St uh, stephen how are you i'm fine thank okay. you very nice to meet you thank you, you were to eurasia institute when it was still very small now i'm showing you a new one state of the yes. art campus yes I, i studied here when i was uh, uh i studied here when i came nine to germany months. in 2010 it's almost 9 years ago wow uh, that was a small campus i think so it's a huge campus you have invested in so yeah. now welcome to techno campus yeah. the home of the eurasia institute uh, and don't forget we are address number 62 simmons lab okay yeah please So when you have just come in you will notice the first thing you will see on the left is the school or the canteen and the canteen will offer you all kinds of meals fresh health and fruits that will make you satisfied uh the meals will include everything to do with vegetarians so you can see every time you come in the morning you will see what's on the menu from monday up to friday uh you have everything ranging from a soup to a proper meal with a dessert now very important for you is that our students have special conditions special prices that other people like me don't have uh, if you want to know more about that then you have to talk to Mr Amrat and he will guide you through how to get that so um yeah you can take a quick shot of the canteen it's a very large space where everyone has enough place to sit The meals are served early in the morning. Some people will come here quite early up to 2:30 in the afternoon. And then after 2:30 you can still have some snacks and this is provided here at the school uh, canteen as well. And if you have any special uh, diet plans you inform us and then we can always communicate to them and then to prepare something accordingly. Can you show us a short tour of canteen? Yeah, sure. So usually you have very soft um, soft drinks and they include things like milk or juices or coffee or yogurt energy red bull and all kinds of things of course you know as a student you in always need energy so some students take use of that but of course water is always provided in plenty and now like at this time you don't have the canteen open so you have you only have the this uh, place so the only thing you can take at this moment would be the snacks like the cake or um, what has always been sold out to be like a, uh, a sandwich and if you come during the canteen time which is the proper meal time then food will be served over there okay. and then you will be able to get the meals on time and students will sit anywhere around here provided there is free space for them okay yes so the first day of course when you arrive at Eurasia this is the point of contact that you will have as first so when you get in here you will be the first person to The first person mm -hmm. to greet you will be uh, Madame Petra and then she is the person who takes care of the whole school complex in organizing our work and also helping students to find the right information. And over there you have the school monitor where everything the activities of the week are displayed. Um, you have even new incoming activities or it's uh, forecasted before um, you come in. If you can come along with me, I will show you. Um, that's, this is the student services or the student services department. Mr. Oliver, who is in charge of the student services, as I explained, will take care of all your needs, ranging from police registration when you have just arrived, activating your blocked bank account, helping you in the visa extension and helping you in finding the right apartment if you have a problem with the landlord trying to fix find a solution find another landlord so 
everything is sorted out here so it's quite a busy office so we call this the troubleshooting office where every solution is provided here at any time and that's Mr. Oliver who takes care of this department of course with the support of other personnel in the house okay Now, as I explained, Eurasia is preferred because of how we take care of the students' needs. And this can show you some of the needs we take care of. Drive up here, you see that students come here and they don't have their apartment. Either they haven't booked an apartment or they have opened the blocks bank account, but they need to activate their account. They need to find the police registration, and this is not very easy for, not, for starters, so it's a long process and maybe they are getting out of their accommodation they need their refund or what we call the key refund money this is all information here they want to change an apartment we help them again in re-registering again with the local police they have problems with their health they need to see the doctor how to find the right doctor and how to find a specialist how to get maybe reimbursed or if you have paid any extra amounts everything is provided and this is part of the services that we provide to students um, over here you can see the people that make you raise a great place um, we call this the wall of fame and these are, these are the team members and the people that make you raise a great place to be and this team is made up of so many great people and one thing that you will notice is a very diverse team people come from over 17 different nationalities here uh together we combine we speak maybe 30 different languages here so it's a very good and professional team uh being there of course by mr andrew Geddes, our founding director and the team includes teachers it includes uh staff members the teaching staff the non-teaching staff and also visiting uh, faculty members and over here you will find that this is the students' wall of fame. Here we showcase students who have exceptionally performed. Probably you might see one of your students. So this is where students always come and see themselves. Once in a while, when they start passing their B-level exams, then we begin uh, giving them a special place at here. This keeps rotating, and this time, uh, each time we have a new course that is completed, we have the best students who have been awarded certificates of completion and their displayed here and this is very very interesting for students as a recognition also for their efforts and right over there number three we have our finance offices for the finance department and they take care of your payments and transactions whenever you make your payments they are the people that take care of that so your money is always in safe hands Okay. And they take care of our partners as well. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is probably the most important office because before you come to Germany, then this is the place the university admissions is going to play a very important role. As you can see, it's a very, very busy place. And you see Mr. Alexander Hoyman, who is also in this uh, office right now, is a person that will take scrutiny of all the documents. When you send us your documents to be evaluated, these are the people that are going to take every aspect of these certificates to guide you, to ensure that you have the right information, you know what you're going to study, you know which university you're going to study at. So this is the department that takes together, works together with us, in giving you the proper information as to where you can study, what you can study, and so on. And some of the universities that we work with are also represented here. So yes. students can always come and pick information. They go and ask for further information to my colleagues when they're doing the casualization. Okay, um, on your right, this is the International Recruiting Office, which is basically the contact between our partners and the students. 
because we work with our partners and the partners have a direct contact with the students. So inside here you have a very formidable team of staff and the staff members speak uh, 17 languages plus. So we have five regions represented. We have the Russian speaking, we have the African, which is the West African, the Francophone, the English speaking part. Then we have the designing or the conception of this, which is the graphic department. We have the key clients, which takes care of our key partner, high tech as well. We have the Far East, which takes care of all the countries around China, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, and so on. And then the South and Latin America, which takes care of all this Spanish speaking, not forgetting the North African region, which is taking care of the Arabic speaking countries and so on. Yeah, so it's a very huge uh, very organization. Diverse, very diversified. Very diversified. people. Yes. Uh, Right here, this is the office of our school and founding director, Mr. Andrew Davis, uh, together with uh, uh, Mrs. Dan Davis. Here it is. Uh, yeah, actually, we just bumped into him, <laughs> and this was not prepared. Uh, this is the head and the genius behind this whole establishment. In 1993, we thought of giving this opportunity to students all over the world. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, yeah. That's the head behind the Eurasia Institute. And so over here you have the student places where students can relax after classes or maybe they are free from their classes. They can always hang around here. And in some cases, some students need quiet time. They, there is also a quiet room where they can also have their own one-on-one -on -one or just to be alone by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is this is the education office which takes care of the language and organizing of the teaching materials, teaching the, the staff members. Uh, they are the ones that coordinate our classes here and also abroad. And if you're coming to learn the German language, you're going to have a lot of contact with this department. And they're the ones that also will take care of your learning progress. They're the ones who will be guiding you through the next steps when you're coming here and as a new student. Do you want to see the one of the classroom? Yeah, this one. She was a good classroom. The best classroom. Okay. Yeah, so this is the teachers, uh, the teachers are the staff quarters where teachers also sit and plan their learning for their classes. Um, I would say my favorite class is probably this one. I like this one particularly because they are very it's always very neat, well organized. The classes where like after classes you find a lot of chaos. Okay. But this class particularly I like it because the students do organize their class very neatly after studying. Of course you understand my students that study their tired, they won't just pack the chairs in and go. Yes. But this class every time I come to control it, I like it. <laughs> Yeah. Our student college preparation is very intensive. Um, students are prepared by teachers who understand the challenges of passing the entrance exam. And particularly for the math class, it's very important because it's one of the toughest to yeah. to get into student college. And we are very proud to say that we have actually one of the teachers who teaches at the student yeah. college at the Tilbury who prepares the students for that particular exam which is a greater advantage for our students as well to be competitive. Yeah, so um, usually these are the typical classes. The classes are very small. Some of the classes are small in nature that the student and the teacher can always switch places. As you can see those chairs, um, you don't have a permanent seat. Today you might be seated in the corner, the next day you might be asked to come in the front. This is the advantage that students can always have with each other. 